I think we should be broadcasting. Let me refresh my Twitch over here so I can watch if anybody chats. Nobody will chat, but let's be hopeful. Let's check the audio. Audio's good. All right, you're 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 audible to Excellent. to a degree. Okay, Excellent. so so we're here. We're I gotta turn my game down because it's gonna sound like I'm yelling. Okay, so we're here. We're. <laughs> That's the thing. You have to speak up. I have to speak down. Yeah. But uh, so we have some thoughts. We have some thoughts and observations. So we're here. Obviously, I'm pretty sure we're in like the end game sequence type, whatever. Well, we've got this projector over here. And there's a map. There's a map of the like a good portion of North America, the mostly the United US States. Of, yeah. So 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 here's the thing. Americans are notoriously bad at geography, right? But I think. I think, that, like, I I studied geography in school and did pretty good at it. I definitely know my own country. I've been across most of it, right? But I have a tangential at best understanding. I think you've of been geography. to. I think you've been to the planet before. Yes. Uh, so okay, so we're gonna point a few things out. So uh, you know, a minor thing. Apparently, there are. Wait, There's hold no on. Worthwhile hold on. Mentioned. There's like, <laughs> like we chose Charlotte and Myrtle Beach, but not Raleigh. Yeah, you know, the capital. You know, like, uh, no, no, no. Sorry, Ra uh, Raleigh's North Carolina. Is Charlotte, there just nothing Charlotte. In Virginia? No, no, no. Hold. On. There's nothing in Virginia. Oh my gosh. Virginia? Nothing's in Virginia or West Virginia. Sorry. Uh, Raleigh is. There's Greensboro and Wilmington instead of Raleigh, and instead of putting like. Charleston, it has Myrtle Beach, okay? There's nothing in, like, New York except Syracuse. Oh, I guess, I guess Buffalo, but that's not even where Buffalo is. Buffalo's, like, up from where that is, okay? There's not, look, those, those, like, you know, New Hampshire, all that. Screw you. You there's nothing in your states, guys. You aren't real. Like New York City, New Jersey, y'all aren't even real. Okay, like, like, okay, all right, you know, okay, over here, kind of in the Midwest, like, okay, whatever, whatever. No, things are, you know, kind of like. Oh, hold on, they can point out Kansas City, but not St. Louis. No, no, yeah, no, Kansas City, but. Oh, you know, oh, but that's easy because it doubles for two states, yeah. right? Okay, uh, all right, nothing in Arkansas. Just like in real life, yeah. there's nothing in nothing Arkansas. Arkansas. However, uh, I think we should we would know the tri-state area of Arkansas, Mississippi, and Tennessee pretty well. Enough to know, you. yeah, enough to know that's not what the Mississippi River looks like, let alone what the deadgum western state line of our state is. Okay, so now we're getting to the real offenses here, okay? Oh, you know, hey, let's not include Baton Rouge or New Orleans, but let's put Mobile, Mobile Alabama, Alabama in freaking New Orleans. And also feel the need to point out Dothan, Dothan Alabama. and Valdosta, Georgia. No, 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 no. But let's put Mobile, Mobile, Alabama, Two states over. Okay. I've now, been to now, now I've no for a I, fact. It's I've been, I know both of us have been to Oklahoma to know that the southern edge of Oklahoma is closer to Dallas than that. I don't know if this is some map showing the Indian territories before Oklahoma was right. a state. Okay, hold on. We need to go back over. Also, why is Lubbock? Of yeah, Lubbock. Lubbock. What like Amarillo? Like college Station Am would be more no, significant. A Amarillo, El Paso, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Houston. These are the correct choices. But Lubbock? Lubbock? Why don't I just like, put Lukenbach on there? Why don't you just show us where Abilene? You is? just show us where Abilene is, okay? Also, we need to go back over to Alabama. Okay. So Dylan, what? Do you want to know how I know Dothan, Alabama? What's in exists? Dothan, Alabama? A few things. Two count them. Two people that I met at our university that will remain unnamed. And Joe Rogan, when he does stand-up, has a bit about how when he still did radio, 
how he got taken to a strip club that was operated <laughs> out of someone's house in Dothan, in Dothan <laughs> Alabama. That's so funny. Okay, all right. I so, highly recommend that bit. Oh, uh, you you highly really recommend the, the strip club? Uh, no, okay, no, uh, let's no, no, all right. L- let's just be honest. Uh, that is an accurate map of Kansas and, and Nebraska. There's nothing there. There's, there's nothing there. Country. Like, yeah, that's where Denver is. I mean, Pueblo might be an interesting choice as opposed to like Albuquerque for all Colorado Springs or okay. Um, of all the places to list in Wyoming, Casper. I've been to, or I've been near Casper. There's nothing there. But, you know, no, we're not, let's not list, we're not going to list, like, Sinclair, Wyoming, or we're not going to, not going to, uh, we're not going to list, uh, I'm completely blanking because I'm so mad uh, on freaking, but just up from Denver, when you cross over into Wyoming, people from Wyoming, you know, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. And then, like, freaking Cheyenne. You know, you can put Cheyenne, Wyoming on there, but no, no. Okay, hold on. I just, I have to kind of pause this for a kind of real talk moment. Uh huh. I didn't realize this is where Idaho is. No, yeah, that's where I Idaho is. Idaho was, no. uh, let's just yeah. say it was a few clicks east. No, you mind. were confusing Idaho with Iowa, which is where Des Moines and Iowa City are. No, the thing And there's is, also just, Illinois. Idaho was over here, didn't know where. Just so was look, you got here. Iowa, I Illinois, Iowa Indiana. So there's a lot of eyes right there. Okay. For all, like, someone could have told me that Iowa is just actually in the middle of Lake Superior. And I was like, okay, yeah. sure. Uh, Bozeman know. and Billings. Yeah, those are places in Montana. I mean, Boise. Freaking Nampa. They put Nampa on here. That's ridiculous. I've been there. There's nothing there. Okay. All right. I'm still offended. Okay. Lubbock, maybe and then, okay, you there. know, we got Phoenix and Tux- Tux- uh, Tuxen. Oh, okay. Funny anecdote. So when I did the puzzle mm-hmm. that you just did to Crippy the Floppy Disk, I could not get it to work. Do you want to know why? Because oh, you couldn't spell Tucson? Yeah, I spelled it T-U-S-C. <laughs> Tuscan. Uh, okay. Like, why is it work? I literally looked up, is this quest bugged? And a lot of things came back. It's like, no, you're probably just misspelling Tucson. So, okay, all right. So, Portland, yeah, that's sure. yeah, Portland, that's that's in Oregon, all right. Seattle, Spokane, yeah. all that, yeah, okay. But uh, man, global warming really hit just Baja California, didn't it? Because years because Baja California should be coming down like pretty much two grid squares. What the actual heck? Treyarch, did you Google like map of United States and just slightly go? Yeah, no, did you just Google United States map and just click the first one you saw? Because this ain't it, Chief. This ain't it, Chief. Like, look, look, we're both from we're both from the great state of Mississippi. You know, fiftieth and everything. But listen, listen, one we freaking highly in hospitality. Oh, we have to because we got nothing else going for us. But let's talk about. I'm still mad about the freaking state line here between Louisiana, Arkansas, and Mississippi. That's just wrong. But, okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing, guys. Okay, listen. Um, a few years ago, there was this thing called Hurricane Katrina. And it, it really hit Biloxi and the Mississippi Gulf Coast really hard. Yeah. But New Orleans got a lot of the, like, publicity and notoriety. And, that, I mean, it was bad there. It... it New Orleans is still suffering because of Katrina. I'm not going to diminish that. But uh, people on CNN were like, and then the storm uh, moved up to uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Okay, so Louisiana, they've done you dirty. But the Weather Channel, there was a like there was a hurricane hitting the Gulf Coast, and they were talking about this landmass between Alab- Mobile, Alabama, and New Orleans. That landmass is the state of Mississippi. Anyway, so we're playing also, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. There, what? For a fun fact with Sam. What? The Northwest. Let's just look at that real quick. Portland. Yeah. If you want to drive from Portland, Oregon to Anchorage, Alaska, how long do you think that takes? Um. Uh, well, considering that you have to drive across the border and then like across like British Columbia to get there. 
a couple of days. 45 hours one way. And that's yeah. assuming you're a superhuman and don't yeah. have to stop. Well, and that you're driving I can a tell you, car that I can tell you stop. from experience that driving from, well, from, from where we are to freaking where I went in Oregon, right about there, that's like one day, like, in like 16 hours or something total. Uh, anyway, so for, and, and then let's talk, about, can't even see the evidence board. Can't even see All it. Right, let's what are we doing? Operation Is it Red, Cir Red, Red Circus? Red Circus, okay. And let's, just to make sure we got it right, let's double check the evidence and cross Okay, so, yeah, this is something, when we hopped off earlier, I looked over the evidence, and I, I'm pretty confident in my choices. But okay, wristwatch containing dead drop. Yeah. Traveling with intent. Sims, the lead agents have been exchanging information with the KGB through a series of dead drops. MI6 believes the wristwatch we recovered in the KGB contains an encoded list of recent drops. Let's see what you can decipher. Okay. Man, I can't believe they personified Mission Impossible 6 to talk about things in this game. <laughs> so, uh, bearded lady, strong man, juggler. Okay. Uh, actually, you know, uh, for the sake of like... So, I... Uh, where is it? I, I've got the lights off in here, so I'm going to have to... Okay. So... Uh, let's just as a point of reference, strongman and juggler, uh, East Berlin and Vienna, right? Let's back out. Let me kind of review suspects. I said that lady. No, no, hold on. Which ones were? Okay, I'm confused. Uh, yeah, East Berlin and Vienna. Okay. So I'm I am certain we have those two correct, uh, and you can see, whoops, you can see from this evidence that bearded lady who we were trying to discover, uh, they went to Cambridge, England. Uh, the last report from bearded lady indicates this one just indicated their genders. This indicated locations, and Bearded Lady was in Barcelona. And then that's apparently something different. Okay, so Barcelona, Cambridge, and he's and it's male. So I'm I'm fairly certain yeah. that we've got this right. Launch mission. Yes. Like I'm I'm fairly confident that I understood. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to have to get a watch kind of like that. So th there was a Casio uh, calculator watch. You can still buy them. They're still made. But the Soviets were like, we're going to totally make that. Perseus. The thing is, I just love how this Claire lady just looks so intensely disinterested. In yeah. Her photo. Yeah. Yeah. I love that this is just like really uh really selling the tension here. Freaking Baja California, rest in peace. Rest in, in fact, rest in power. Yeah. No. As one of our for uh, one of our professors would say, rest in God and rise in glory. Good grief. That was that Stan. No, that was... That's Corey. Oh, okay, that makes sense, but I could totally kind of hear Stan. Oh, yeah, no. Stan, I could imagine him saying it very gently. Yeah. Just like sitting over a Rhodesian soldier as he closes his eyes. <laughs> Rest in God and rise in power, young man. Uh, shoot. I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake! You're going to have to do something. <laughs> <laughs> uh... As I said on the last stream, I've been playing a lot of Ghost Recon, so I'm so used to, like, pressing L2 and R2. And and I, I always switch, in first-person shooters, I switch my triggers, if I can, to L1, R1 for aim and shoot. Okay. She's like, go, go ahead and, uh... Mark the radio tower. That's a radar tower. Radar. 
That's just a flag tower. That's the flag you're going to use to determine wind direction. Oh my gosh. Okay, well... Oh. I want y'all to know that Sam basically zoomed his finger out and then forward with the camera. Yeah. I'm oh launch strike? Yep. Yeah. Coordinates coming your way. Roger. The check is in the mail. The check is in the mail. The chicken is in the pot. Cook it. Like that is almost as good as the mission in I think it's original Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. But, uh, like, Price, I think, calls in air support. And the guys that are doing all the air support comms are just like, yeah, can you, uh, confirm which tower we're supposed to be hitting right now? And they're like, yeah, it's the one on, uh, uh, it's the one on the left side of the road. And they're like, okay, which road? Like, the road that curves? Oh, yeah, yeah, the AC-130 mission. Yeah. They're like, uh, can you confirm uh, which road you mean? And they're just nonchalant about dropping the wrath of God. <laughs> yeah. That freaking... That mission... Everybody's like, oh, that mission sucks. I'm like, dude, y'all weren't there. Back in the day, that mission was like... like especially... Every Call of Duty game had the like on-rails shooting mission. That's the best one. Yeah, especially because immediately afterward... You're, the next mission that it goes right next into is you seeing the results in person on the ground of the AC-130 mission. Just, just watching just God's wrath and get blocked on people. It's like everybody gangster until the U.S. drops the sun on somebody. Everybody's gangster until a, a cargo plane with a 105 millimeter cannon shoots from the sky. Yeah. That, and of course, in Vietnam, it's everybody. Am I supposed to interact with something when I'm searching? Guy here? with a radio turns on the sun. Like you're just you're clearing these buildings, and like you have there are three different buildings. You kill everybody in them, and clear them. Okay, so I, I get I got it now. I don't know if he's in a different building each time, or if it's always the last building. But... Thanks, Woods. Yeah, Woods periodically remembers that he's supposed to be providing Overwatch, and then drops somebody. That's immensely unfair. I meleeed him. Okay, the problem isn't that you died. It's yeah, that you no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. How dare you? I wonder where it checkpointed me. Yeah, it, it, every thank, building thank you, a thank you. Can you imagine if the icicles blocked your shots? Yes. Thanks, Woods. That's just some Dark Souls hitboxing. Yeah. No, yeah, sorry, you can't hit that guy because there's a piece of rebar three feet above where you're trying to aim. So it, it, it's just impossible. I tried to back out the door, the door was not there anymore. Wait a minute, was there something you could interact with in that building? Like, okay, like, directly to your right. It's like a long, oh, okay, it's some item pickups. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? 
clear. Clear. Would you like to return your library book? Oh, so this may not interest you, but you can just slide around like you're playing Destiny. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Like, I just would slide around like an abject needle on the entire time I was negotiating this mission. Blow up! Can't, can't trust these barrels for cover? Look, dude, you're gonna have to speak English if you <laughs> If you insist on speaking Spanish to me, please use the formal usted. In one of my Hebrew classes, a guy said something to me in Hebrew and I understood him, but I just looked at him and said, if you're going to speak to me in Spanish, I suggest you use the formal usted. And he did not get it. Like, he thought I was being serious. He was like, Sam, we're in a Hebrew class. like, dude, it's okay. Like, I know. Not everything has to be super serious. Come on. Jeez, I, I feel like I'm hitting the guys, but not. I'm not finishing the kill. Yeah, it's it's a classic example of uh, five five six doesn't have the stopping power because it's yeah, designed it's, to wound. Yeah, it was designed. Five five six was designed to wound, but two two three was designed to love. You're just searching for Rudnik. You clear the building. Another building needs to be cleared. Yeah. You clear this building. Another building needs to be cleared. You have always been clearing the buildings. Call you of Duty. Call of Duty Gothic. There we go. That's dealt with. Dead gummit. I tried to, like, turn like that when I was throwing, and I just completely whiffed. You know, like, what character from another game would make this section substantially easier? Mm. Quiet. <laughs> you would just hear, hmm, hmm, hmm. Just dropping people. Then you would hear her just break the sound barrier any time that you left her line of sight. I may have played myself. <laughs> I was about to say, like, hmm. Your tactics confuse and frighten me. I am Victor Reznov, and I will have my revenge! Nothing seen. I got Rudnik. We need kill confirmation. Kill confirmed. Confirmed kill. Alright. I am wondering if I should switch... I'll, I'll you can. Okay. I personally did not, but I also really like the XM4 and that Pelican rifle. Ah, look at that. What a. Oh. Oops, I'm out of smoke. There we go. So yeah, like you can choose pretty much anywhere. I just and then it's just gonna be wave defense after that. Like, ah. Hush, lady. I'm ma'am. Please, we. Are I'm trying to be tactical. <laughs> also, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. That sounds vaguely like Judy Greer, the lady <laughs> over there. Gosh, I wish Judy Greer was over my comms. I don't get it. That's right, you don't. Uh, just imagine if you had a predator computer <laughs> with that little this line of guys running, you could just kind of hit all five of them. Then have the guy in the radio come. Uh, that's about, uh, five confirmed kills there. I think the most I ever got was over 20. 
Oh yeah, no, and no blood. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's at least one good job, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're like rah rah Rasputin. Where? I think there's a guy like directly below me. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Woods? Woods, it's okay, we got this. I... Funny Woods. enough... Woods, you don't understand. We're the main character. Oh my god. <laughs> can't just storm a Russian Wait. military installation with two men. Ha ha, air support go boom. No, air support go boom, boom, boom. Did you see that? I just drop it. Gosh, that's worse than a monster closet. Woods, I would never leave you behind. Let me get on the gun. Let me get on the gun. There's a perfectly good minigun. Freaking, freaking Nakaboose over here. My name is Michael J. Mason Woods, and I. Mason hate Woods. Woods. I hate babies. And I hate. Babies. Wait, no, Woods' his first name is like Frank, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah, Frank Woods. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. name is Francis J. Woods, and I hate babies. Why are there eight pedals if there are only four directions? <laughs> Look, so, like, when I was in that training, there was a guy who referenced that, and I just was like, my guy. <laughs> Alright. Yes. You got it. Yay! The hunt for red circus. All right, so now will we just beat the game? Uh, something like that. Yeah. You've the reached line. the end of the line. Yep, that's a guy. <laughs> that is a stoic-looking man of a uncertain European descent. <laughs> no, you look up. You just look up. Ubermensch, and that's the picture that oh, comes up. too dark to be the Ubermensch. Ah, uh, Untermensch, then. The Unter-Ubermensch. I don't want to be Untermensch. I don't want to be under a dude. That's, that, that's, I don't like that. Uh, launch mission. Yeah. You're about to hunt down Perseus in Cuba. And will no longer have access. You're about to beat the game. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Salt Lake City. Tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. Way hey, down to Cuba. Uh, do you like the little Espanol guitar? In exchange for a peek at the Ah, Fidel Castro. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. The reason why Cuban Missile Crisis didn't escalate is because um, is because JFK, uh, McNamara, and uh, uh, JFK McNamara and, of course, uh, Fidel Castro met at the Pentagon and had to fight off a zombie infestation, and that brought them together. And Richard Nixon was there the whole time as well. Yeah, but the furtive, the furtive Nixon. I forget that Cheney was like I forgot under. that I named my character and I was like, "Oh, my character's name's a lot like Nathan Hale." Adler should be checking in right about I need a cute English brunette to call me love. 
Spelled L U V. That's the thing. There's this like tension. There's this like romantic tension between Lazar and Clark. I mean, there should be. Did you see Lazar run through those flowers and they just clipped through him? Like, that's the thing. Like Lazar just doesn't have time. For I him. told you it's pronounced Lesnar. Yeah, Freaking like Brock just, Laser over yeah, here. Yeah, he just gets his shirt pulled off and he just has a huge sword tattoo on his chest. The ideal CQB. Oh! Only I'm allowed to use a scoped rifle. <sighs> now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a big fan of the focus effect. Yeah, I like that better than just holding your breath. What are y'all shooting at? Where are they? Ah. There's probably a guy, like, right there. Ah, uh, yep, I saw his head. Oh, yeah. Alright, everybody. If we don't succeed in this mission, Camilla Cabello will never be able to produce her good songs, and we can't let that happen. Sam simping for Cubans. I didn't have that on my bingo for today. Like the the hurt like her like her like two famous songs I know of off the top of my head are real earworms. And then you're gonna be talking about how much you love Dua Lipa. Ooh. She is also a Cuban singer, if I'm not mistaken. Oh jeez, oh man, oh gosh, yeet. Hey. Goodbye. Boom, headshot, boom, headshot, boom, headshot, boom, chest shot, boom. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, Cuban man? No Cubans were were harmed in the making of this video game. No, the thing is, it shows that warning, but it just says copious amounts of Cop Cubans were harmed in the making of this game. I got this. I got this. I got this. No, 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 it's just the Cuban regime. It's just no Cubans were harmed in the making of this communist regime. So I was wondering if, like... When I meleeed that guy, give give. Uh, I was wondering if I meleeed that guy, if I could like shoot him while I was meleeing him, and that's exactly what I did. Oh yeah, some of these. Uh... What is these for, bastards? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got close circuit cameras. We could use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Nuclear bomb. I don't know, like, for some reason, the way that she said bomb, yep, boom. like, it just, like, reminded me of, like, the way that I said Look at her in her little boonie really hat. Bothers you. The way you say Tuesday? No, oh. shop. Like, intentionally, like, in a way. How it sounds like you're saying shop with two P's and an yeah. E? Yeah, precisely. But look at Park in her little boonie hat. She's just. She's a queen. Yeah, you know, she would she would do great in the fashion section of Rainbow Six Vegas 2 with her little boonie hat. Yeah. Is everyone all right? Dios mio. I don't like how puny these little explosions are. Okay, I understand what happened. 
So I didn't catch her saying, hey, sweet for mines. I just ran in here and just had explosions happening. So. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. They'll eat you alive. So, no, no, no. Did you not see what happened? No. So when I rounded the corner, there was like a scientist, like a guy in a lab coat, came running out of that door, hopped down, ran right there, and then exploded. And then uh, Park said, sweep for mines. Uh, and they're right there. What is this backwards baseball cap that Lazar is wearing? He loves it. Beef! Okay. No, 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 no. no. I think it says beef. beefy. No, uh, uh, I mean, stand still! Does, to be fair. Let me see your hat. Let me see your hat! I think it says beefy. So, this is humorous because when I was in good old Tejas, I ate at this barbecue place. Uh, C, I believe it's C&J's Barbecue. You at College Station? Give them a visit. They're actually really good and they're super nice people. But I bought a hat from them that I would just wear the whole time because I actually really liked it. It was just a simple, clean hat to with just their logo and all. And periodically I would just wear it backwards. So this is just going with that whole, like, narrative you spun it first for I'm just Lazar. I mean, he was in a trench coat! Yeah. Oh, I'm not offended. Like, don't get it twisted. I'm not mad at this. Just got a free grenade from that guy. Like, now all we need is for Lazar, like, someone to say something and Lazar to say, don't get it twisted. He's like, look, don't get it twisted. Or, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> He's like, I gotta go on this mission with Park, and I'm not mad. Look at her in her little LBE. Aw, oh, she's... I love her. I did not... I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to shoot him. Okay, anyway. I didn't realize that when I started playing this game for the streams that I was going to fall madly in love with an MI6 agent. You know what they say? Hold on, hold on. You know, it's like that Bond movie, From England with Love. From England with Love. For England, James? No. For, for love. love. For yeah. James England? No. <laughs> no, no, it's just... It's just black, like... Adler is just, like, holding... Hey, behind the counter. Perseus off of the GoldenEye satellite little array thing. He just says, looking. like, for America, Adler, and he just says, then no, for Reagan, and lets them go. Someone's killing the scientists. Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs, let's move. Yeah. CQB! <laughs> I get it, Park. Lazar, Lazar, keep your hands off my woman. I mean, I, like I said, I get it. He's a handsome, capable man. Preaching! Cuban soldiers just fighting tooth and nail, and I'm just over here like, look, Castro's not gonna feed you. They're like, I am fighting for my quarter of a chicken a month. Look it up. Like, I, what you said kind of faded out over just the sound of gunfire. Um, quarter chicken. Quarter uh, of a chicken. Just uh, look it up. Quarter of chicken and some rice. Free healthcare. Free college. Literacy program. Yeah, they're like, like they boast like a 98% literacy in Cuba. It's like, yeah, like they're all 98% literate and 100% starving. Yeah. You know, you know what you have plenty of time to do while you're starving to death? Read. Yeah. You can read about how you're starving to death. 
<laughs> you can also read about lean meat starvation. Oh no! If only I could have prevented this. I'm so sorry. It's just that daredevil scheme where he's just waving the machine gun around. I'm so sorry. That is weird. The books, Mason, what do you need? The glass, Mason. Turns out that my character was just a figment of Mason's imagination. Not 37B? Not 728B? Shut up. Stop talking. Perseus, kill us here. You shot us. Escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. Oh no. For access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so yeah, pretty much. That's sorry. exactly what he's telling you. Hastings, stay with us. Can you imagine how if this actually happened? Like, how just understandably Wait, upset me. Europe would be about this? But, uh, they, it would be hard for them to be upset. There'd be no one I left. Well, no, no, no. If, like, not if the nukes went off, but if there was something... Or, like, wait, I'm sorry, you put a Oh, the pl... See, I'm not device. gonna lie. I forgot about that. Like, they're just, like... They're, like, they're talking <gasps> to Reagan and they're like, Okay, I want to make sure I understand this. Someone had nu a nuclear device put under our city. Yeah, but, and you didn't tell us. Like, yeah, we're, we put them there. Yeah, but I didn't think it was relevant. Yep, that's what I wanted to do. Yep, that's what I wanted to do. Disco time! You're already gonna die hungry. Stop running so you... Won't die hungry and tired. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the seem to remember a lot more guys rushing that field there, but okay. A hind D. <gasps> Is this a Fulton?
I'm by. That makes me so mad that both of those missed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Me and one just threw like my man Lazar knows what's up. Yeah, it's time! Bloop. 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 Get that 40 millimeter bow fours. I'm right here. You have to be like looking directly at the magic pixel. You don't have much time. Well, the reason why I can't touch is because my character's a foot off the ground. The magic. That was rough. Oh yeah, no, just. Oh no! Everybody, hug me. We'll fly together. So just bear in mind, not making a choice is making a choice. Dead gummit. Take him my wife. It's easy. It's an easy choice. I'm taking my wife. Okay, so I chose Lazar not because I have anything against Park, but because I was like, like they meant to like meeting Lazar because he has the skills to defuse the bomb. Like, okay, oh jeez, freaking the Mass Effect choice. Yeah. But yeah, also, wow. like, that you can actually just job. sit there and choose neither of them, and have. you'll get pulled away in both of them. We'll die. We create the fucking pipe down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. I just know that Perseus doesn't... Hudson sounds so tired. He's Holy got dozens. Yeah. Wouldn't Millions you be? If this situation... <laughs> I'd be exhausted. Like, literally every day, I'm, the, I'm literally begging you to leave me alone so I can get some sleep. And they would come in with me dead asleep in a chair and like, hey, you need to get up, we have one to be like, no. I want to sleep. Ray would be like, great job, gentlemen, and like, I don't care, Mr. President. He's like, Just let me go to sleep. he's like, anything you need, and Hudson's like, a bed, I beg you. I need a minimum of eight hours of sleep. Please. Well, that mission's over. <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Mission failed. You'll play it next time. Sims, get the gurney. And the one that you spared will actually show up and like. Okay, so here's your moment. Where you're like, oh, this is why it's a Black Ops game. Oh. Bell. I feel like I own. I love you. She is wearing DPM camo, yeah. and I'm wearing Tiger Stripe. We're going to lose a lot more than Bazaar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Since. Get the dose of this red thing. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. She's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. Oh, no. No more half assed We're doing an interest of rebel injection. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, well, we're just gonna go. He's right not. He's not even. Side. Yeah, he's like, I'm not going into the base of the skull. We're doing this the hard way. Gotta say, Bell takes the us memories really well. should begin. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam. One more. Time. Oh no. We need to finish what we started. Oh no. We had a job to do. Freaking Victor Reznov. Just remember, Dylan. We, have we a job had a to job do. to do. Freaking! Oh we no! Have a job to do. Perseus, do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit! 
heart rate's off the charts. It's okay. I need you to relax and focus, pal. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Is the bunker my mind palace? <laughs> you will see. Freaking forget the mind bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to invest Break on through! Your chopper was hit by ground fire. Just According to your degree, middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a PC attack. Yep, that's Vietnam. Just filthy Frank screaming. Your ambulance is welcome, welcome to the 16. He said you ran forward and grabbed an M16. Yeah. I've yet to see an M16. Oh, yeah, no. Pick, well, no, pick up an MP5. See what happens. Ah. Uh, you can just die. You can get the. You get another chance. Because the thing is. I'll just say this. Things don't have to go the way that Adler is telling us. Oh! Oh! That reminds me of the hit video game Call of Juarez, uh, the, like, arcade first-person shooter one. I can't remember the full name. Uh, yeah, I think it's Gunslinger. Uh... I just want you to know that these kinds of iron sights don't look that open. The remaining BC fled into the tree line. Not if I can help it. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. Poor guy. Go home, GI! Alright, I'm gonna get the MP5 as a backup. There we go. So, uh, why don't you investigate that hut? You just go in the hut and some, like, just Aunt Jemima's cooking some pancakes. I mean, not gonna lie. You never mentioned the house in your degree. Time to move along. Okay. Interesting. It'd be really interesting if I found like Don't worry about the chopper bell. Let's move forward with the story. Okay. Like this is honestly one of my favorite parts of this game. I mean it's doing something. Yeah. That, like, I do like the flora and the light here. It's very pretty. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right floor, not the trail to the left. I'm doing it. You should hear you. There you go. Yeah. It appears to be Cyrillic. Also, welcome to Apocalypse Now. Did I have something I could throw to distract? You have two fragments. Uh, that's not what I meant, but okay. Oh, I know. I'm just saying. Like... Oh, 
Well, that went that went fine. Yeah. The zip line nearby was the best way back. You wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. So, do you want to just go across that bridge? <laughs> Turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. I stored up a hornet's head. Need chopper support, ASAP. Roger that. Chopper inbound. ETA two minutes. Oh, yeah! Witness me! Witness me, Eugene! I am awaited! Stoner 63. Bang Howell! Man, that was rough. Jeez. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that Cobra. I love that that guy was like, threat neutralized, oh, returning yeah, to yeah. base. He, he's definitely got it. It was a strong case of South in the middle. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. See, now I'm like, all right, time to explore around. All right, well, okay. Time to break on through to the other side. Look at this, the numbers, Mason. Gonna give me some freaking bennies. Implanted memories. We've got a job to do. up the dosage in one one B this time. Okay, ready. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. Oh my gosh! You ready your uh, have you seen Rambo? Have you seen Rambo: First Blood Part Two? Give. Okay. I love the 1911, but it's a video game. Remember. No Charlie. Freaking... That was a hard detection right there. Oh, yeah. That, that was like that guy having to look over and see the arrow come in and just land on that dude. Yeah. And to kind of work out a while I watch the... Uh, oh, there, there she is. I'm going to be 
super mad. If at the end of this game it doesn't say this game is dedicated to the brave Mujahideen <laughs> fighters of Afghanistan. <laughs> I would just... Rambo 3, look I it up. Would pee the televisions. Mason, what do they mean? The cameras, the gurney. They didn't even see the gurney. Oh, yeah. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right one, not the trail to the left. Oh, the pictures. Let's go. Let's go, Colonel Kurtz. Bang, how Thailand. Denmark. Oh, look at that. It's like World at War. Zipline nearby was the best way back. He wanted to get uh -oh. there as long as soon as possible. No, I was just looking. I wanted to see what it looked like over there. Laser! Oh my gosh! No. Turn back and use the zipline to reach the bunker. You can't tell me what to do, Adler. Adler, you're not my dad. Bell keeps switching scenarios. Now she's running the lever. Allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Command says we need to clear that house. Command, this is Victor 4. We've got a possible Soviet command outpost in sight. This is all over us. Requesting a napalm strike. Victor 4, Roger. Diverting air power to your area. 30 seconds out. I'm, I'm ready for the smell of victory. Give it to me. Give me the war crimes. Oh, yeah. You smell that? That gasoline smell? Smells like... Smells like a hidden bunker door. Smells like... Victory. at the bunker doors that that's just great the fact that the the soldier was like oh go look at it bell oh uh, <laughs> straight up that doesn't sound right bell's in the lab the numbers Was there one I missed? I don't know, actually. I don't remember if there's one there. Yes. Okay. Have you played Control? I need to beat Control. Because I quite like it. Mainly because I need to get to the ashtray maze. <laughs> That's just the description. Sounds perfect. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So look at it. <laughs> I wish I could just immediately turn it back on. This isn't working. Administering one CC of adrenaline. No! That's it, Bell. That's what you were looking for. Perseus was in there. Hmm. Out of body experience. I barely know her. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh my gosh. This is straight up like the chair they had Mason in. Yep. But anyway, we've got a job to do, so. We've got a job to do. Running scenario one. Bell, we've got a job to do. Would you kindly? I didn't ask. A headler's like, would you kindly run the scenario? According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. What if I don't fight? Rat survivors were defending against <gasps> a PC attack. The blooper. So the thing is, grenade you can choose to just target. skip around and run. But it does a really good job of acknowledging what you do and how you choose to engage. Could you imagine trying to do this on veteran? No. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. And normally that, like, when you die, like, quick hurts, quick screwing around, and you start a ready to grenade launcher and charge the head. There's, like, really no way. Yeah, like, there's not a good way to do it in this scenario, but it's Nope, I think I found it. I'm just gonna get yeah. I was gonna say I'm gonna get tagged. Really, Bell? You're telling me. Really? Like, yeah. You're telling me that you died. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You ready to grenade launcher and charge the head. These guys don't look like VC. Uh, these guys um, they kind of look like Adler. Yeah, don't they? Kind of, don't they? It's like. It's like your memory of what happened in knowledge is all of it. You never mentioned the house in your debrief. I just get a kick out of this because like eventually Adler will actually get annoyed. Yeah. Really, like stop telling me about the house. Oh. 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 See, I don't even know if that's the, like meant to be like that. Looks like freaking Call of Duty One. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Stop fighting, fella. Go right. Go back and take the right path to the bunker. Take the zip line down to the river. Look at that. the bunker is in the caves. Go. Oh no, Charles. Wait, hold on. Look at the little Buddha there. Like, 
Oh, okay, if it was a little Adler, that would be so funny. Well, I don't think I can go that way. Can't go that way. Well, do I have to go down the zip line? Yeah, I think you do, but there are things you can do down there that do not have to be what Adler to do. <laughs> there's uh there's ladders going back up. So you can just look <laughs> That's silly. Oh, so this is the path. Yeah. I wonder. Yeah, oh, wait. Now, the thing is, I don't remember if something happens if you turn around and go back. see if it's any different up here. No. Wait, okay. Yeah. Stick to the report, Bell. Oh my gosh. It like teleported also, me. Also, did you notice that? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want the tunnel rat sequence. Since this is scenario 17. I, am I about to find my buddy Victor Reznov in the tunnel rat scene? A tunnel? You pulled out your sidearm and flashlight. I love that you can tell he's getting close to Yep, this is tunnel rat. I actually knew a Vietnam tunnel rat. Scary stuff. Oh, this would be horrifying in real life. Yeah. <laughs> that, I swear, for all of a second, I thought that sounded like Gary Oldman. And that, like, just think about that. Like, in every tunnel, just, there's, a, there's a random chance of just that's what's waiting for you to take a wrong step. Saigon! So you notice something about that? Huh? Huh? Do these look familiar? I mean, they're... I am so freaked out right now. I know they're zombies. I'm not retarded. Oh, I know. I'm just like... I, it's just... And I have the 1911. Oh my gosh, the yeah. laugh. Start again and tell me how you met I love that. Oh, 
Okay, if I do that, I'm gonna lose the door. <laughs> They were just gonna wander. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. <laughs> but like I said, just little things. Like then, of course, like everyone heard it. And like, I don't care. That, that, don't tell me about it being stuck. Hold on. Hold on. Tell me about Hold it on. Opening. Hold on. Oh my gosh, this is freaking PT. Yeah. Hold on. Nope. I'm me, but are you you? Dang it. We're riders on the storm. Ding, da, ding, ding, ding. We're riders on the storm. Opening the red door. Opening the red door. Break on through to the other side. Do it now. I'm not doing it. You can't make me. I'm hearing Soviet music. Yeah. Yeah. Am like I hearing distorted and down bitched? I, am I hearing like just Victor Reznov? Just Victor never stopped having his revenge. Actually, stop to play this. I stopped when I unlocked it, so I don't know if you can just sit there long enough until like the like Abner will just force you to move on. Dang, rude. Also, Girl, same. <laughs> I never noticed this character was doing that. <laughs> it was getting after it, dude. <laughs> I just che I just noticed my ammo count with my weapon. Yeah, zero, zero. Don't you hate it when your fists run out of ammo? The the clocks, Mason. Why is In your dreams, oh my gosh! <laughs> the freaking environment's getting smaller. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, crouch to move. <laughs> no, no, is it that it's getting smaller or are you getting taller? Yeah. No. Stop speaking in circles. Stop speaking in circles. Three clocks. <laughs> Three <laughs> times. Stop wasting my time with this hole. Just hit blunt. Bro, have you played PT? What if that, but like Call of Duty? Hold on, I think there was Turn one. Around. I think there was one you could actually open that time. I just barely saw it. But like, there looked like there was a curse you can interact with. Of course, there's the red door. But... And of course, I'm sure you can run around in this hallway indefinitely, much like the infinite hallway in. In good old, uh, in good old playable teaser. <laughs> Four clocks. Mason, how do you tell time? I would have lost my mind if there were five clocks that was slightly smaller to accommodate them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering. Alright. What? What the hell is Bell 
doing in the lab? I'm doing lab stuff. Oh, yep, that's a fire alarm. Well, that's too bad, Adler. Dang it. Hey, you win that. this time. We're losing the battle. We're completely off script. Philip went through a boat of trauma, both real and imagined. We have no leads left. We'll push until we get what we need before Bell dies. survive another round. Now you ask. Do it. We're not leaving at the end. Script 17. Ready. Bell. Got his job. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Go into the bunker now. No, you don't own me. Bell, open the door. Tell me about Perseus. I'm doing it. You can't stop me. I'm gonna tell you about the house. Hear about the chopper. Oh, you said chopper? The door. Go inside. He's like, door stuck! There's a the helicopter. And then there was a little hut like this. There were rice paddies everywhere. Oh, it kind of reminds me of being in Arkansas. Those are rice fields, though. They're not really paddies. Fields, paddies, tomato, potato. I kept trying to ADS really fast. <sighs> hands. I needed to reload my hands. Bell, open the door. No. I'm going this way. <laughs> no. No. No, you whore. I'm not opening your door. <laughs> Apparently, I got a trophy for all of that. Oh, yeah, but yeah, if you just keep ignoring him long enough, it will. He will just literally every a couple of steps, door, 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 until there is actually nowhere else you can go, and nothing else you can do. Great. Look, this is the kind of thing that made me say, I just want Treyarch to make the campaign. True. Because I just want them to have the freedom to just do weird stuff like this. Yep, that's a diagram. Yep. Those are those are definitely Russian. Kjort Sukobliad! Alright, well... Look at that little clock. You're the only one who knows where Percy sits. Where he'll detonate the nukes. Where is he, Bell? Comrades, 
The United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, Bro, just put your we other glove on. Them all for the safety of Solovetsky. Do you remember? surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. The normal forms of interrogation weren't working. Breaking a subject's will and erasing their mind is a difficult and painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. Hmm. A 10 out of 10, still better than Battlefield 2042. Yep. I'm sorry, I set the bar so low. Uh, you know, sometimes you have to, you know, do the limbo with death fights. True. T R U, true. No, that's T R O O. <laughs> true. T R U U. T R U with an umlaut. The code words, Bell. What do they mean? She's coming too. Bell, no more fucking around. What did Percy say? So here's the thing. Where is he? You can, like, just, you know, ask your questions, you know, all by all means. You're disoriented, Bell. We'll explain everything later. Right now, we need to. <laughs> Just where is Perseus? Where is Perseus? You tell us, Bell. That's what this whole fucking thing is about. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kardavar, turned on you at the airstrip in Turkey. Left you for dead. When the plane leaves traps on me, it's stopping me. This, you know. Here's what you don't know. Perseus or Bida, none of these hired guns are going to leave Duba alive. We'll dump their bodies in the forest. Then we will move their weapons to Volkov in Berlin. From there, we fly to Solovetsky. But I have other plans for you. Perseus thinks too highly of I don't want the competition. Oh. Oh. Mason watch you die. Die, quote unquote. Hmm. Dead. This he is was from there. the beginning. When yeah, 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 yeah. Just look at Park. The CIA reinvented you. We needed to give you a new identity. It was Park's idea. I said she wanted that bond. You did it for accident. Huh. And we were able to utilize. Your I went with CIA, and Adler mentioned that. I was like, no, I'm kind of glad that you went with CIA when you were given the choice. CIA's MK Ultra program used Adler's missions in Vietnam as a temple. Oh my gosh. Shared experience about 
more involved to establish trust. You were never there. <laughs> <laughs> I was never in Vietnam. Well, count yourself lucky. You've only had those memories for a few months. Me, I've been living with them for over a decade. Are your hands clean, Bell? Dang it. <laughs> Interrogation didn't work for me, but thanks to MK Ultra's research, we had a backup plan. If you believed you were someone else, we could lead you to a place where you give everything. <laughs> I don't think so. You're still holding back on us. And we are going to get it out of you. We have a job to do. Bell, we've got, Come a, on, job we've got a job Come to on. do. We've got a job, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. The trigger phrase kept you in line, but it didn't get us everything we needed. Your innermost secrets were always locked behind a door. Bell, I realize you probably hate us right now, what we've done to you. I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you, it's about millions of other fucking people. It's about stopping someone who in the end has no true allegiance to anyone other than himself. So tell me, where is Perseus? Once we control the green forces, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovets. He's at Grozny Grad. This is your chance to find out who we really are, Bell. Where is Perseus? From the safety of Solovets. Interesting. This is okay. Th this is an interesting choice. Yeah. And now here's the thing. If you hadn't unlocked that gate earlier, getting you, like, cho choosing a lie here would just get you to a really dumb, abrupt ending. Oh. So you can legitimately choose either of these and get to an actual end that isn't just, ah, you know, I guess. Sims, get Washington Everyone else gear up, you're leaving now. You made the right choice, Bell. Come on. You're still one of us. I like how Bell's got the whole, like, black long sleeve top under, like, the rolled sleeve top. Like, solid sneak. Also, did you notice that everything, like, the markers changed to red? Oh. So do I stay back here? Oh, okay. Five years ago, NATO intelligence detected a powerful signal of unknown origin. The new signal created I've actually never seen this. Worldwide. Not to mention all kinds of conspiracy theories. NATO quickly tracked it to this facility in the Soviet Republic of Ukraine. Duga radar array. It's an over the horizon radar system. Big improvement over their old missile defense tech. It uses a lot of juice. Could be used to broadcast any kind of long range signal they want. Like detonation codes to every green light nuke in Europe. Where exactly is this thing? About 60 miles north of Kiev. Between the cities of Pripyat and Chernobyl. Oh no. So miles around. What year is this? I'll drop you in a little further out. No recon, no heavy support. Just a light infiltration squad. Shouldn't be a problem. Just point the way. Bell came through for us in the nick of time. I never doubted it. Jeez. Jeez, <laughs> are about to get bushwhacked. Well, we know Woods... Doesn't die. 
look at that absolute just monument to Soviet chattery. We need to build radar station, but we we must build it strong like kettlebell. I'm sure you're not forgetting something, Bell. Ash to ash, dust to dust, fade to black. Yes. Yes. Pull us out to the middle of nowhere, Russia, so Perseus can detonate those nukes. Oh, geez, that's danger close, boys. Since when does, since when does Perseus care about danger close? Look at this just villain. Yeah. This dude looks literally just put the other glove on. I'm sorry, Park. Jeez. Oh yeah. Jeez. Now, though, did you notice your yeah. Eliminate your former team. Sorry, Mason. You'll never <laughs> learn the numbers. Team. Good actual grief. See, Woods, I'd kill you if I could see you. I'd gum it. Just... Okay. Well, it's Woods, so he's pro... He's probably hiding behind something. Yeah. Ah. Freaking oh, spun him. Freaking spun him. You're never going to Burger Town again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Freaking no scoping. Let's go. There's blood. The cat becomes the mouse. Glad to see you still care. My new light. <laughs> no hesitation. What if I just capped him? That would actually be I, I want you to know you I did press the fire button. <laughs> you could just betray everybody. You remember that face, don't you? Solovetsky, stand by for the detonation. I think you deserve this boy, Hmm. Dang, just these, these, these choices, all right. I wish we could return to Solovetsky to watch it all unfold. But that chapter is closed now. We begin the next one together. You did well. And to think, after all this time, they still believe I'm Perseus. As if Perseus could ever be an individual working alone. So American. Ah. We'll need a new home now. The Central Committee will be more surprised than the CIA. Even if we made the best choice for the future of our homeland. Hmm. Yeah. 
for humanity. Their eyes will be as cloudy as Also, I just love possible. this, like, very Russian thing of, like, the undershirt is always striped. Uh, yeah, that is that is a Soviet military undershirt. I, I can't pronounce the name, but I recently learned the name of it. <laughs> Does anyone know the bombs were ours? Materials related to Operation Greenlight were anonymously released an hour ago, presumably by Perseus. Calls are beginning to come in from across the globe. That son of a bitch. You and Vice President Bush are to be moved to secure locations immediately. I want any business related to this thing erased forever. Everything. Can you make that happen? Of course. It's already begun. We will watch Europe burn. We will watch the Empire of the United States collapse under its own weight. A world with two superpowers will become a world with one. The Soviet Union. And if the leaders of this new world order squander the opportunity we have provided them, then they too will be replaced. Kasim Javadi. Former friend is killed by you. No matter. Kasim was always a weakling and a chain cattle trader. It is a shame you had to kill Anton Volkov our most valuable GDR asset. But perhaps with the fall of the West, it will not be so great a fall. You say that Eliezer Azoulay perished with Cuba. You will not miss that one. His interference with our Middle East assets... Will Interesting. I like that only noodles. Forget only fans. Lazar was about them only noodles. Sin noodles. Even though we have prevailed, the CIA has significantly wounded our foundation inside the U.S. Robert Aldrich has been killed, and our network there has collapsed. And this is acknowledging you correctly doing that side mission and getting that done. Hmm. The death of Major Vadim Rudnik is a terrible loss for post-nuclear Europe. He was to help shepherd in the Soviet-aligned future. Hopefully, we can still move forward without his presence there. The CIA also managed to eliminate all three of Rudnik's key assets. They have no one else to help fill the void. Serving new agents into such influential positions will take years. But I have no doubt these are but temporary losses. We are just getting started, my friend. Cool, cool. Yeah. That that was good. Yeah. That was great. That's one of the like uh, I'd say I probably still like Modern Warfare 2019's campaign the best. Sure. Uh, good. but perfect. that was really good. Yeah. That's like top five yeah. for sure. Okay, so the real question here is: if you let the credits play at the end, will it go into the Nazi zombies mode? I don't know. Oh, this is just synth wave. Just. Mm. This feels like. This this music to me, this sounds a lot like something from Dance uh, Dance with the Dead. Like one of my favorites, like synthwave bands. 
Right it actually sounds reminiscent of their remix of Neo Tokyo. But I, like, I went with the good ending. Right. Okay, so you said that if you don't unlock that gate... So, like, what happens if you can't go in there? Um, when you go to Duga... It's just... Oh, there's no... They just, they're like, like you wood, lied to us, and you're like... And they just ice you. Nice. Yeah. And Perseus still, like, detonates everything, and it's still, I mean... So I'm guessing yeah, the good ending died. is you tell him the truth, you go to the place, yeah. you kill the guy. No. Oh. Do you want to go back and just... Oh, gosh. we. I guess we could. Yeah. Because I don't know if you can just go right back to the end to break on through to the other side. That, that, no, no, I wonder if you could just go back and just follow his directions right from the beginning. Actually, no, that probably is the quick way to do it. Because, like, you go, you, like, and they're like, alright, cool, we get one shot this, all this, and that, the other. And it is just a knockdown, drag out. Just, it's just, a Call of Duty level. Yes, but it is like up to the nines. But, like I said, that, it was, that was a very interesting, like, yeah, like, yeah. No, that was super interesting. Then, of course, like, if the reward is, here, you do it. Yeah. No, that's like, <clears throat> That's like really bold of them to do that. Yeah. Of them to be like, here's here's a like that was a that that wasn't a Call of Duty campaign. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, it yeah. like look, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you just stop it. But it's like, you know when you're watching a movie on television and it starts rolling the credits, but then it like drops to the bottom of the screen and starts moving like this because they are like legally required to show the credits. Wait a minute, did that say Infinity Ward? Yeah, and Sledgehammer. Yeah, I knew about Sledgehammer, but... I want to say Sledgehammer worked There's on... Like the finance team and the supply chain team? Yeah, man. Why? Yeah, man. Who cares? Uh, they do. Like... Okay, so... Okay, so you just go... Dude, look. So, like, look, it says lied about Perseus's whereabouts. Rejoined Perseus and detonated green light nukes across Europe. Eliminated your former team. That's... Okay, so we're going to have to replay that to get the different ending. I'm guessing. Possibly. You may be able to just start at Identity Crisis and then choose to tell them the truth. Uh, we'll try that, but I'm going to use the restroom. So, so... Talk amongst yourselves, you and your, you and your MK Ultra personalities. Implying <laughs> there's a tangible number of them. But yeah, no, that's the thing. Like, I'm not really huge on Call of Duty. The gameplay is perfectly good. Like, it's a great stop and shot, stop and pop shooter. And, like, they've got the mechanics rock solid, but, like, a lot of the campaigns feel very samey, feel very, like, formulaic. But this one, like, it's hardly groundbreaking storytelling, but I really enjoyed it. It was, it was refreshing just to be like, yeah, this team was like, let's just do something weird and not just do the same quote-unquote rip from the headlines thing of just... Yeah, um, villain from Russia or the Middle East has some kind of weapon that will create the big problem. Instead, it's, like, yes, it's Russian, quote-unquote, villain with big problem weapon, but it's also this really just kind of goofy, like, yeah, black ops, we're doing wet work, we're doing... Like, not open warfare stuff. So, it's a great palate cleanser. And I, I recommend experiencing the campaign to anyone that's interested. Because it, it's solid. It's good. It, it, is, it is big fun in a little world.
And and I will say I do think that the evil ending is more interesting than the good ending in a lot of ways. But I like the good ending too. It's perfectly good. Both in its moral alignment and in its execution. Bone. That is odd. I can move in this minute. Freaking show back up with three dreams because I'm just like that. I'm just cool like that, man. I show up with a bottle of water, a diet Dr. Pepper, which I'm not even a big fan. I don't like diet drinks, but I I wanted something that tastes. I wanted some fizz. I want. Yeah, that's the thing. I. I need to get some more LaCroix. As fans of the channel would know, I'm, you know. Well, you know, if you ever want to, uh... Let's just run through on Recruit. You mean like <laughs> We've got a live one. So just let this one go. <laughs> you gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. We tried everything. It's only the good ending, because in this ending, you don't kill Park. Nuclear holocaust? Eh. Nothing. The death of Park? Well, it's like... it's Unmitigated tragedy. Listen, it is like Comrade Stalin said. The death of one person is a tragedy. The death of a million is a statistic. But also, in the words of Stalin, menacing leaf hang finger open. In the words of Stalin, um, swiggity swooty, I'm coming for the booty. I don't, I don't think Joseph Stalin ever said that. Comrade Joseph Stalin. Also, like, a lot of, like... Do you know what Stalin means in Russian? It means man of steel. Yeah, like that's the. It's thing. not his actual last oh, name. Oh no, of course. Like, but also something that's interesting to me is like periodically you'll see uh, some of the Wamans who have read Marx but did not understand Marx <laughs> simp for Shay. Like, um, yeah. But here's the thing I don't understand. I've seen pictures of Joseph when he was a young man. Mm -hmm. Dude mm -hmm. was handsome. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, him around Very the time handsome. of the communist revolution in Russia, he was a handsome man. And but he didn't become a communist because he resented pretty people. <laughs> Unlike most communists today. What you're going through now is nothing compared to what you're experiencing. Don't start cooperating. I just love that they felt we the need to model chance. his chest hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Freaking. Bell, you were one of Perseus's agents. His associate, Arash Kadavar, turned on you at the Astro Kentucky. Left you for dead. We've seen this. We've seen this at least 30 times. We watched it happen from over a hill. Oh, we lived it. If Wood for his period blank, can we please skip this part? I know. I, want to shot. <laughs> I don't care about the car. I don't care about the jacket he was wearing. I don't care about his head This guy this guy watched glasses. Drive and based his whole personality around the main character. It's really good. I like it. It's got a really good synthwave soundtrack. He's got a tiger on the back of his jacket. Mm -hmm. The jacket in uh the jacket in Drive, it has a scorpion on it. We were there. Or is it a tiger? No, it's a scorpion. It's a scorpion, right, guys? Oh my gosh, we already know. <laughs> also, why does Adler never use the use the rope? The CIA reinvented. They don't have that kind of tech yet. To model the rope being used. We needed to give you a new identity. The 
It was Park's idea to make her an I-6. She wanted that bond for her. Even if it was a bit of her accent. And we were able to utilize your language and cryptography skills as an added bonus. The bigger challenge was your tech team. The CIA's MK Ultra program used Atlas missions in Vietnam as a template. <sighs> I can't believe that even that in, in the 80s they were using Ed Boon's greatest creation of Mortal, <laughs> Mortal Kombat, Kombat Ultra <laughs> to brainwash people into committing acts of violence. This was all a ploy to get you, like, the memories they're trying to unlock aren't the location of Perseus. It's all the inputs for the fatalities in MK3. <laughs> In particular, they want Liu Kang's fatality, where he just summons an arcade machine and drops it on you. <laughs> Real fatality. We have, we have a job to do, Sam. Would you kindly? You've always had a job to do. You complete the job. Here, as we say, we've got a job to do. We've got a. We've got a. Would you kindly? To do. you kindly have a job to do. <laughs> I just need you to fully understand the stakes here. What you do right now is not about me, it's not about you. It's about millions of other fucking people. Also, if you look carefully, here's it's about stopping someone who in the end has no truth. <laughs> that Call of Duty hair tech. But I'm not sure so that part where is process. Well, you, I can't tell cuz the lighting, her hair's just black. Right. them all. Yeah, I was actually going to low-key order one of those shirts from Ukraine, but I couldn't find one in my size. Oh, they, didn't, they don't make one in extra small? <laughs> <laughs> Just the narrative that I'm a wee, a wee little lad. Like, you're like, I was, I'm, like, I'm, I'm four foot nine. <laughs> like, you're functionally just a, a young woman that's barely five feet tall and like... Barely 90 pounds, soaking wet. <laughs> no, but I mean, I hate it that they you could, that you can find a, a shirt in Schmedium. Schmedium. Now that's that's Noah. He's the Schmedium one. Yeah, actually, that's that actually. No, I think he he is it just straight medium. Oh, look at this American military might. Look at that imperialism. Yeah. Do it for him. Rare shot of Adam. If you if you knew that our ships that our aircraft carriers were named after presidents, you'd be like, do it for the USS Ronald Reagan. <laughs> That's the other shirt. You have one of just his face that says that, and then you have another one of the ship and says do it for him. Oh, shut up, Adler. Like, oh, no. Like, that's one of those, like, I like that no, line, even though I know how stupid it is. Look at, look at freaking Mason and Woods being the main characters in another game. <laughs> look at that, Chad. Just kids. kids you, did you ever play Black kids. Ops 2? So, Black Ops 2 is your, like, I think you're, like, Mason's son or something like that. No. I, I, okay, I just remember there's flashbacks where you're playing as Mason with Woods, and then it's like the current day that the game takes place, and you actually go visit Woods, because I think it's like you're trying to figure out what happened to Mason, but you go to visit Woods, and he just gets murdered, and it just, like really pissed me off back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Not even as in it's the crash. EMP in transit? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Look at that. <laughs> Turns out Captain Price learned it from this. He's like, sometimes you just gotta EMP the Russians. Dead gummit, my... 
Well, I love that the ammo cost for this thing is ridiculous. That's aggressive. <laughs> yeah, it's the war machine. Oh my gosh. What am I getting hit? Well, that's like, uh, Black Ops 1 had the death machine, remember? You went straight ahead to the AA gun. I feel like if I don't move up, I'm going to get in that Call of Duty trap. That was the biggest whiff in shotgun history. Oh, also, I want to point out that planting the explosive and it having a little timer thing like that, that is so classic Call of Duty. Is that RPG guy still? Okay. I'm going to have to build an M4 like this. I've got the pig. This is Hudson. Have you cleared the AA guns? We need to launch these bombers. We got one AA clear. You know that's not good enough. I can't risk an early strike. We only got one shot at this. You don't think I know that? Hudson, I'd be able to move if I was the main character in this game and had some agency. Hudson is just over the radio. Shut up, Mel. No one cares. Contact. I never like you. Uh, I wanted to shoot you the first time I saw you. He just, he did this to lead me into the room. Also, I didn't know you this. Hudson is the final one. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out Hudson is Perseus. Okay, when he was like, they still think I'm Perseus. I was like, I swear he's going to say Adler's Perseus. That would, that would actually be really cute. Uh oh. Oh my gosh, I got so lucky. I mean, if I had an M60 before... Dammit, I hate when this happens. Dude, that recoil, like, pulled me so far off. Oh my gosh! I get, I know, I know. Please understand. Okay, that looked like they picked up your grenade and just threw it right back. Yeah. Alright, you know what? I love the pig, but. Sometimes you need something that isn't going to do everything in its power to stay off the target. I 
I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. That's infuriating. Look, I'm sorry that you're just not as good at as I, I am. Oh, it's there it is. Adler, I don't think we're going to make it, bud. <laughs> they did it, Mr. President. Stop the news. Oh, see, I thought that was going to be way longer of a level. No, sir. His whereabouts are unknown. And a Russian response? Nothing yet. We're seeing signs of confusion. It's possible this was all a rogue operation. Perseus may not have been following orders from Moscow. Well, I'll be damned. Maybe we have something in common after all. And this is why they finally came to an agreement. Because they were like, hey, uh, we don't want the world to end in nuclear fire. Interesting. We also don't want the world to end in nuclear fire. Come in. We should be friends. Woods, have you found them yet? And of course, Woods, the hero. Esta aquí. Take my hand, Bell. Look, it's that part in every Call of Duty game. We did it. This is a message to Perseus and those that'll follow him. We don't just sit back and hope for the best. We'll make the best happen. This is how wars are won, Bell. <laughs> Mason just come back here. Adler, that's kind of cringe, bro. <laughs> he's like, hey, yeah, he's like, hey, Bell, can you help me with you some numbers? I know you're good at cryptography. With both he and Arash cut of our dead, their terrorist network collapsed as surviving members fought for control. No clear leadership in place. It appears the Soviets have decided to cut ties to clean up the mess. Approximately 72 hours ago, the military... That 1911 is missing a part that is absolutely crucial to its function and it's the pin that locks in the toggle link what about anton <laughs> after his death elements inside the gdr saw an opportunity to reduce the russian mob's influence in east berlin two days ago in a large-scale midnight raid stasi swept through the homes of anyone with connections to volkov men women and children were all gone before the sun rose this will be a major setback to underground Soviet activity like, in Europe. Volkov just looks like a discount. How did the top. cleanup that go? <laughs> we were able to recover Adrian Azoulay's body from the compound in Cuba. President Reagan personally reached out to his family and his caskets in transit to Tel Aviv. Well, As you know, Helen Park returned to London. She'll continue to recover from her injuries there. Afterwards, MI6 plans to give her a task force dedicated to finding Perseus. What about the rest of the team? They got off Solovetsky before the Soviets could send in forces to investigate. It takes some time to heal up, then it's they back also, to work. Also, like, if you rescue Lazar, like, they remark, like, MI6 is going to be mad about this. We owe them. All around us, thanks to the help of one of our own. Not anymore. We took down that son of a bitch Aldrich, as well as his key essence here in the States. It'll take Perseus a while to recover. So I have a theory. That map had like a little insert that covered up Baja, California. And I think like whatever that map asset was is the same map they used. But they just fudged the lines and didn't replace Baja. Hudson, you're the Shakespeare of land. And Bell. It's like, who? You just get to kick him off. There's the head, doesn't it? Bell, you made two extraordinary sacrifices to stop Perseus. One was without your knowledge. The other, you made that decision of your own accord. I 
just want you to know this little thing that's happened with you and me. It was always for the greater good. The greater good. You're a goddamn hero, you know that, kid. Heroes have to make sacrifices. That's why when I ask you for one more, I hope you understand. It was never personal. Oh no. I wonder why you I wonder why you never heard of these characters in the other Black Ops games. Hudson and Riggs what happened to Adler and Bell. They shot each other in Solovesky. I don't get it either. Alright, well we did it. Yeah. We did it, kids. All right, now we have to go back to the very beginning, don't unlock the gate, and then get the, the dumb ending. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, yeah, no, that was good. Yeah. That was good. Uh, I, I definitely really liked that. I'll, it was very Cold War, yeah. very Black Ops. But, geez, like that's, yeah, that's definitely one of the better Call of Duty campaigns. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I had an idea about another campaign that could be played. But, uh, but I think I'm going to end the stream so that, like, you know, I can kind of cut this as a video and then come back with the other campaign. You know what I'm saying? You hear, you know, you some another one I'm putting down? You know? Well, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're watching here on Twitch, I have a YouTube. You can find me at Loyal Pickles on the YouTubes. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can watch my streams and everything at twitch.tv slash Loyal Pickles. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Remember Lazar. We have a job to do. The job. What does it mean? <laughs>